Measuring cups are a common item in most kitchens. You'll use them even for basic recipes, such as mixing a box of brownies. Measuring com cups come in different sizes. Um, most common is a one cup, two cup, or four cup. You may have some or all of these in your home. Uh, for liquids, we often use these glass ones. You notice when you look at them that you'll have cups and ounces, which is what we use in the United States. On the reverse side, you may also see milliliters or ML. We are not going to worry about using the metric milliliters. So when you're looking at a cup and actually measuring it at home, you want to make sure that when you pour the liquid in, you get right at eye level so you can see where it lines up. Don't measure from above or don't measure from too far below. Before we practice some reading measuring cups, let's review our fractions because cup measurements are going to be in quarter, half, two thirds. So imagine we have a full measuring cup. So that's one cup. We can divide it in half, which obviously is half a cup. We can take the half and divide that in half again. Half of a half is a quarter. Now you'll notice I left an empty space. That's because between one half and one cup is three fourths. So these are some of the common measurements that you will use from one cup down to one fourth cup. Now the previous measuring cup did have one third and two thirds marks on them. Uh, but one third or two thirds are also common measurements that you might see in a recipe. Um, and typically your measuring cup will have all these different marks. Sometimes they won't put numbers by them. Um, so it's important to be able to compare and know which ones are bigger. So one third is more than one fourth. So it's not the very bottom line, um, but it is less than one half. Same thing with two thirds. Two thirds is more than one half, but it's less than three fourths. So it's not the very top line. 